I just installed the latest version of iOS for my iPhone, which is iOS 18.1. And it finally includes the much-touted Apple intelligence. And I must say, after playing around with it, I am really excited about the new capabilities. And more importantly, it isn't hard to use. In this video, I'm going to show you four incredibly clever ways to use Apple intelligence. Stick around. This video is worth a few minutes of your time. Hi, my name is Rich. I've made a lot of easy-to-follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad. And if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing. Besides, unlike your Netflix subscription, my channel is free. And thanks to all of you who have subscribed. It's exciting to watch this channel grow. Now, as most of you know, I never really dive into the complicated apps. I actually have a life, and I don't care about a lot of that stuff anyway. In fact, I rarely download beta versions of Apple software. But when I saw that Apple Intelligence was being rolled out in iOS 18.1, I thought I'd give it a go. And I am straight up impressed. This is going to make using my iPhone a lot easier and a lot more useful. So while there are a lot of AI features coming, I'm just going to cover four of my favorites. And three of these tips have to do with photos, since I spend a lot of time in the Photos app. First up is recording phone calls and the clever way it makes an Apple Note. Next is photo search and how much more powerful that's become. Then I'm going to show you how to make memory movies, which is super easy. And then lastly, and probably the coolest thing, is picture cleanup. These four are just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is just install 18.1. If you haven't done that, you can go to Settings. You can go to General. And then you can go to Software Update. And here you will see that you can update it if it's available for you. Once you've installed 18.1, you can go back and you're going to see a new thing called Apple Intelligence and Siri. And if you tap on that, you can turn on Apple Intelligence here. And I've got it already turned on, so you need to do that. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see where it says Apple Intelligence and Siri App Access. So if you go into Apps, you can choose any one of these apps. Let's see, I'm going to choose uh, Notes. And you'll see that it's turned on, and I think it's turned on by default for all of these. If you go through them, you'll see them all turned on. It says Learn from this app. So you're allowing Apple Intelligence to take a look at how you use the app so that it can better serve you. So that's the first thing you need to do is just get it installed and make sure it's turned on. Okay, the first feature I want to show you is just how it records telephone calls. So I'm going to call my wife and I'm going to show you how we record this call. So let me dial her up. If you'll notice, there's a little icon right up here. It... Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm going to turn on and we're going to record this call so you may hear something. And it just said this call will be recorded. Okay, I'm going to take a note on this. We're going to go back to the phone call. Now, um, tell me what you're going to do today. Well, I'm going to get dressed, and then I am going to clean downstairs. And <laughs> sounds exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, it and, does. Uh, then I'll, um, I'm going to organize Justin's toys. And then I'm going to go take a walk. And then I will probably uh, go get in line to pick Justin up. Well, I'm going to film this video, and then I'm going to get it edited and hopefully posted within the next day or two. I've got to go to my jobby job and do that kind of thing. So okay. that's what I'm going to do, and I will see you soon. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. So... Now you can see view saved call and it's made, it's actually made an Apple note. Okay. I'm going to go into Apple notes and we're going to listen to the call. Yes. We're going to go back to the phone call. Now, um, tell me what you're going to do today. Well, I'm going to get dressed and then I am going to clean downstairs and <laughs> sounds exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, it and, does. Uh, then I'll, um, I'm going to organize Justin's toys, and then I'm going to go take a walk. If you'll notice, as it goes through, it highlights what's being said, 
it's got Rhonda's name here and it's got me labeled as you here. So it actually breaks down the conversation between the two. And if you go up here to summary, you can just tap summary and it will actually create a summary of the conversation. And here it says Rhonda plans to clean, organize, and take a walk while the other person will film and edit a video. So it just gives you a quick summary of the call. Now I can see where this is going to be incredibly useful. If I call my doctor and I need to have a conversation with them and I want to record it to make sure I get everything down or any important conversation at all, I can store in there and then it will create a note for it. Now what's really neat is that when you click done and you go back, you go to folders, you now have a new folder created in Apple Notes by Apple called call recordings. So all of your call recordings will automatically fall into that uh, folder. So it's just a quick little tip for artificial intelligence that I think is going to be really powerful. And I can see myself using this in the future and I'm sure you will too. So the next thing I want to show you is just picture search. If I go into my photos app, you know, I have a lot of photos in here. You probably do too. And in the past, you could try to find stuff and it would kind of find stuff for you, but it never really worked really good. But I got really specific and I thought, I'm going to just throw something out there and see if it's gotten any better. So watch this. I'm going to tap on this for search. I'm going to tap on the microphone so I don't have to type in here. Show photos of plants on my desk. I'm going to click search and then here they are. So here's a plant on the corner. There's two little plants it found on another desk I have. There's an old desk with some plants on it. There's more plants. Plants near my desk. Uh, a garage sale we had with a plant on a desk in the background. Uh, another plant over here on the corner. It's just really powerful in the way that it found that. So it knows what a plant looks like and it's just, it's just crazy that it can do that. I also went in here and I thought, you know, I'm going to try it again. So I'm just going to tap on this and I'm going to say Justin Jr. in 2024. I'm going to click search. And then again, here's my grandson in 2024 just some photos of him playing and eating his cupcakes and eating out. So that is a really quick way to search for things. I think it's going to make finding pictures way easier. I used to put everything in albums and try to keep them organized that way. That's just because that's how I grew up. But now I'm beginning to believe if this gets powerful enough and I just say, hey, show me all the pictures of my grandson when we visited Disney World and all of them pop up, how much better is that? That's going to be an incredibly useful new feature. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is called Memory Movies. It's just a little movie that your iPhone can put together for you with photos. Let me show you how I do that. I'm going to tap on photos. I'm going to go down here to create a memory movie. And you know, we'll say once again, um, I'm just going to type and I'm going to hit done. And it'll automatically start putting together a video of Justin Jr. And now it's ready to go. And there's actually music that plays on this, but because that will get flagged by YouTube for playing music that I'm not allowed to play, but it actually has music that goes along with this. But how neat is that? It just starts showing videos and photos and things together and it puts it all together. I just think that is a wonderful new little feature. And you have the ability, if you tap on it and you go to the little three dots up there, you can actually uh, airplay the movie, you can add it to favorite uh, favorite memories, you can share the movie, a number of things you can do with it. Um, and it's just a neat little feature, just all new and 18.1 as a part of the new Apple intelligence.
Okay, the last thing I want to show you is called Photo Cleanup, and I think this is going to be the most powerful new little tool out of everything that I've just shown you, particularly if you take a lot of photos with your iPhone like I do. Okay, we're going to go into Photos, and I'm just going to pull up a photo here. And as you can see, I've got my grandson here and then his other grandparent right here, just the back of her head. So I don't want that in the picture. So now if I tap on the little icon down here with the gears, you'll see a new uh, feature here called Cleanup. And I'm going to tap on Cleanup. And pretty soon you're going to see a little hand that waves back and forth like this. right there and once that's done you can just tap where you want something to disappear I'm just gonna kinda fill in her head right there and just like that it's gone how cool is that that is the coolest thing ever you can hit reset if you want to go back and then it goes back to the original photo but you can also click done and save it so that you've removed that and I've been testing it. It's gotten, um, it's gotten even better. I'm going to go over here to another photo, and we see uh, two things that I want to get out. So I'm going to tap on that little gear icon again. I'm going to tap on Cleanup again. And I'm going to just kind of circle that right there and see if that goes away. And then I'm going to circle this right here see if that goes away and then maybe a little bit right there that still hung around and that's gone and now we've got something over here in the corner I'm gonna get rid of that or try to here we go well it didn't do too good right there but you can see how well it got rid of the people who were in front of him and now you can click done and you've saved it and now you've got a photo like that. And that is just a great, cool little feature that's a part of Apple intelligence. If you're anything like me, you'll be using these features sooner than you think. And according to Apple, there's a lot more coming in future updates. Okay, that's it for today. I hope this sneak peek at Apple intelligence was worth a few minutes of your time. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.